Bitcoin is a bank in cyberspace. Monetary energy. Or of the earth. Doubles every year. Listen to my words. Selling doesn't hurt. Selling is absurd. It's like cutting of your wings, but you want to be a bird. about a few stuff in today's video basically stuff people are not talking about right let's talk about this right but just before we get to there so um we'll talk about like okay so let's have a look at the market cap you can see we're definitely hovering now what i'm going to say is obviously the way the market's playing in uh, if you followed uh, my recent videos and everything i've been mentioning regarding patterns and everything so also this pattern also applies to this as well what it means is that we could potentially come and test this particular line to confirm this as a trend line right so this is what i'm saying we might actually have a potential where we will come and confirm this and say this is our trend line and then shoot up and then do whatever we need to do right so this is a possibility so you have to be prepared for this right this is what the market cap is showing us now you know i talked about this particular uh, thing yesterday now we have briefly and uh, yesterday i briefly mentioned to you i said look this is the death cross nonsense that's coming where a lot of retail are going to be dumping because obviously this is how the market moves they move based on sentiment and unfortunately this is all fake sentiment is going to be pushing it down so technically this is just a fud i'm not bothered about it i'm seeing this as an opportunity to buy and also if you remember we have a range right so we have this box here which draws a range and it says right this is the range that we have a perfect buying opportunity and we can adjust this range and we can make it bigger we can come up to all the way here it doesn't matter right so this is our range of a perfect opportunity to buy but i'm going to talk a little bit more about that on the next section so let's have a look right so we've got the logarithmic you can see the logarithmic as i said it was struggling to hang on to this particular zone here so i mean for us we've we're either going to come down here and test this 28 uh, level and then have a rebound or we are this is just temporary dip and we're going to get back above the line so as you can see here we're going to get back above the line and try and test for this area so we haven't even come close to test this right that's what i'm trying to say we haven't come close to test this and so far you know all the bulls everyone's ready at the 47 mark right so this telling us that we've got is it, we're not gonna we're gonna stay in this zone at least for the end of the month and more probably even next month right or even longer so we are expecting this right now this is the one that i've been showing you recently and i've i've shown you how the trend the temporary trend we've got which we haven't confirmed yet so we need a third point to confirm that this is the downward trend line and we also need this level here to confirm that we have an upward trend line and we haven't had that right so this is a temporary trend line as i said every line here is a valid line and support and resistance will be found so we're currently found support just below this and we're looking at the support was the range was these two candles and that's where we found the support now we might move it up we might fail and come back down and test this line if we fail even further we might come down here but this is just a short term to, um, chart we're looking at when we're looking at a longer time slightly longer time so we're looking at more longer time uh, trends and we're saying okay let's have a look at this and this is like a temporary remember i said this is not a valid trend line but this is a temporary temporary median trend line so it's like it crosses in between so it, it's not one that forms a trend but it's it just gives you a rough indication of what the market wants to do and how it wants to do and then based on this particular trend line I have drawn certain resistance levels and these are the same chart that I published recently and I gave a signal a few days ago I said this would be the buy order buy section and as you can see we rebounded exactly on this particular line and there's that's the reason why I have a median line in there rather than a permanent trend line because it's not a trend line it's just a median line saying this is the market average this is what we're trying to do is it um, is this breakout a real breakout or is it a fake out so right now if this trade breakout here comes and confirms here and stays within this line it's okay but there's a lot more that a lot of people are not talking about and one of those things is for example we're looking into this particular zone so today what i've done is i've put a green box here right so this is one of my oldest chart everybody knows this particular chart and what i want to show you here is what is the possibility of the market what can it do so as you can see the same trend line here 
And what we're looking at is if we break this trend line, right? So this is just remember, this is not a trend. This is a median line, right? So it goes through the market rather than going and creating a trend, right? So we're going through. So this is an average trend, nothing more, right? So we can have a breakdown and we can have a breakout and then breakdown. And this tracks this basically. So this is something I've did. This is not based on an algorithm. But these lines are there as well. Again, something I've did, not based on an algorithm. And you can see we hold these line as support every single time. They may be off like, you know, maybe a dollar, two dollar, hundred dollar, whatever, right? They may be off slightly, but you know, nothing is 100% perfect. And this is what we're looking at. So we haven't drawn our upward trend line yet because we don't have one yet. Now, what's going to happen is if with all the FUD, current FUD, China FUD, this FUD, that FUD, mining FUD, uh, uh, death cross FUD, right? You know, I'm sitting here and I'm getting excited. Um, a few other guys are getting excited because if we continue on this specific trend line and we come into this zone, and I'll show you more about this particular zone. If we come into this particular zone, this is the golden opportunity to buy at levels which people can only dream of, right? So this would be the opportunity right now. Are we most likely to come into this? Probably not. We could easily just have a reversal here, bounce here, and then go back up again, right? Because we're currently facing, as you can see, this particular level here, this line here, you can see, and this line was drawn long, long time ago. We're facing resistance here. So we have tried it once, we have tried it two times, we might even come back and try it three times. So whatever happens, we might try this. Eventually, we will break it at some point, just don't know when, right? And this is where the lengthening cycle comes in, right? Now, let's move over to the market cap and we'll come back to this in a bit. We'll come back to this. So let's move into the market cap, see what the market cap is doing. Let's refresh this. So market cap just went up 1 billion. Um, so we can see from yesterday's video to today, you can see we've lost um, $3 billion. We've lost $3 billion in BTC dominance. So this is what's happening right now. Market taking a little bit of a shakedown. Um, so far, so good. It's markets doing what it needs to do. Now let's talk about stuff that people are not talking even further. So this is a chart that I've shown you before and we're not, nobody's been talking about it. I wanna show you what's happened. So all this time we were on this particular trajectory we were following the stock to flow model currently we've dipped below the stock to flow model and this is showing as a green line so this is saying okay do you know what we were slightly above it we shouldn't be above it now we're down so what i'm saying here is there are people out there who follow the stock to flow model institutions and whatnot right so if these people are following what they've been signaled is this is a perfect buy zone so they've just been signaled guys we're in a perfect buy zone let's shoot up right so move on to another one and I want to show you this 200 week moving average and let me refresh this because I want to show you some magic here. So you've, what you can see here, we've got data from 2012. Obviously, this is not a, um, it wasn't made in 2012, but you know, it's been plotted, right? And what you can see is the heat map shows you how we go from a purple zone, which is a perfect buy zone, right? This is the bottom. You go from the perfect buy zone and then you go to the red and then you come down and that's a dump. And then from here, we continue again and come down here. What I want to show you is in history, in the entire history of every single bull run that we've plotted, the heat map, the 200 week move, uh, moving average heat map, has never ever gone into zones where we're like these kind of green zone, right? So we haven't gone to green and then come back down to a blue zone ever, unless it's a bear run. So you can see here, we've come back down into the blue zones because it was a bear market, right? Same here, you can see we went all the way up, but we never, when we came down, we ended up in a bear market. And what I wanna show you here, this particular time, we did not go to the red zone, which means we did not have a market top. And we've just printed our first light blue. And the potential is we could even potentially come down all the way back to this line, come down all to, well, I'm not going to say this line, but we could come down because this line, remember, also moves up. So we could come down here somewhere and have another blue. And this is a perfect buying opportunity coming back to this particular chart, right? This zone here, this is a buying opportunity. And also our Fibonacci 1618 is sitting at the 21,442 right so we do have this everything flashing to us saying there is an opportunity in the market take make the most of this particular opportunity now let's move on to the next one quickly two-year bitcoin investor tool um you can see here also i'm going to refresh this for you as well because i was having a little peek at it so what you can see is every time we go above the red line market top red line market top red line market top red line market top these are danger zone 
we never did that this time and every time we come into this green zone this green zone this green zone it's the perfect buying opportunity if you can catch this particular green zone you're laughing you're making the most amount of money because we are going to have a pump and you can see in 2020 right so in 2020 let's zoom in in 2020 we briefly had that moment and then we had the pump can we come back down here possibly we don't know right but ultimately if we did come back here you know what this is the point where i would say if we come into this um um sell yourself sell everything right literally sell everything because this is the zone and again relates back to this particular chart here which is this particular zone if we come into this zone which is showing in this particular area that's what we need to do right because this is when we will have the thing and then obviously you're going to have the signal saying oh we're going to have a golden ratio oh sorry a, a golden um what do you call this uh, the golden cross we're gonna have a golden cross guys we're gonna go bullish well I've told you already right so you know you're gonna expect this so talking about the golden ratio look at the golden ratio multiplier and you can see it's the same pattern this is the 2017 when we go below this orange line perfect buying opportunity so if we come anywhere below this orange line perfect buying opportunity this is what we're looking for if we go above this particular level here then we know that we're having a slightly market thing but it's not the top and let me explain how it's not the top so if you look carefully you will see that the the top is around this level here this line here this dotted line here is the top right every time we have a dot right this is where the top is we have not had the top so it's similar to the 200 um, week moving average sorry no the two-year um, investor talk that we did right also another thing people are not talking about is the pie cycle remember we had so much drama about the pie cycle saying oh how we if we have the red line go above the green line we're gonna go and do this and that well so nobody's talking about it nobody's talking about it. so here let's talk about it right now what happened we briefly touched and then we continued right so what's the pie tag the cycle top telling us telling us that the 350 day moving average is telling us to be at fifty nine thousand dollars and the 111 day moving average is telling us that we need to be at the 50 we are oversold we are oversold this is what this is telling us right so let's come back to this particular chart here and have a look and see what's going on so remember this chart is almost close to this but this is a longer term we're plotting here and here we're just doing it on a short-term basis so what we're looking at is we could have bounces bounces that could easily bounce here or bounce here but ultimately if these bounces become upward so if we start seeing um, bounces going on the upside then we know the trend is going up however this is what nobody's going to tell you and I'm going to tell you right now worst case scenario worst case scenario is if we continue to bounce like this and we break these levels guess what we're in a mini bear cycle nobody's telling you this we're going to be in a mini bear cycle and if the mini bear cycle that we're going to be in is this particular zone so what is the mini bear cycle so what should so when you everybody says oh guys we're in the bear market you, you're panicking you're panicking everybody's panicking all right you've messed up your pants you've did you know what are we thinking golden opportunity that's what we're thinking nobody's telling you we are thinking this is the golden opportunity okay so just understand guys you know there are certain things in this chart i've said to everybody i said guys frame it frame it because every single line on this chart is relevant today and tomorrow as you can see we've plotted it all the way to 71,000 we've plotted it until 71,000 it's still relevant and you will see every single line is going to act as a resistance and every single line on the bottom is going to act as a support as you can see it's doing it not a single line not a single number has been changed it's the exact same chart um so yeah other than that i'm not gonna make this any longer just a quick update uh, like share and subscribe and i'll catch you on another one i probably won't be doing an update tomorrow because i do have a meeting tomorrow so i'm going to be attending the meeting tomorrow if i am free i'll do something but i don't think you guys need to remember when we were down here i was telling everybody guys now the market's going to do something different you what you need to do is um if you're going to be a hodler hodl um and uh go and watch some netflix and binge i'm not promoting netflix in any way i'm not affiliated with them but that's what you do i'm not your financial advisor but do understand that there are market trends that we do need to follow and we need to stay two three steps ahead and this particular range when i'm telling you talking to you about this particular thing and yesterday's video and the day before's video i was literally indicating for you to stay two steps ahead and by telling you this particular scenario i'm telling you 10 steps ahead right because this all leads back to where is it oh there it is this all leads back to this particular thing here right so it all leads back to this particular thing here which we showed you yesterday remember the fibs here 
right? So it's telling us that if we come into here and we rebound, we're fine. This is a buy, sell your house zone. However, if we do come here, you're gonna buy every single dip. If we come into the red zone, then what we're seeing is we've had, we're into a bear market, which is good. That could be an extended bear market. Here, mini dip, perfect in a zone, but we need to do it when we reverse back up, right? That's what you're looking at. So this is the Fibs here. Remember this, this one, I talked about it many long time ago. I'm not your financial advisor, but this is where you buy that one last final dip and you move up, right? So these are the zones I can just show you 20. So this particular one is currently showing us 23. It does change at a time and it's saying 30. So 30 to 23 zone is a perfect buy zone. If we do come here, we might see an extended bear market. You might want to just sit back with your cash and to play the bull run again, you might want to uh, pick it up if we do. So this is what I'm saying. If we come into the red zone, then you want to buy it when we exit out of the red zone, you can buy it and that's the bull run. All right. And we might hover up and down, up and down around these zones. That's what you have to understand. So I know I'm going fast. I've got some other things to do. So um, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on another one. Adios, amigos.